Good morning. Happy Saturday, the, wow, 14th of October already. Yikes. Greetings from the Dank Basement. I am Paul Shalbetter, your wicked Uncle Squinty. It's time for a rather <coughs> toned down episodio of Pinch Which is Squinty. Uh, I've been fighting a bad cold for like the last three days. I'm just starting to come out from under it, feeling better. <laughs> but God, it was a horrible three days. As a result, I was not able to do the interview with Chris, better known as OSP Snuffs. And, uh, well, since this is a pinch which is squinty, let's pick a pe let, let's pick a tinch. Let, uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumper. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm still, you know, not sleeping right. I'm half dead this morning. But I thought I'd better talk to you because there is some channel news, right? Cheers. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. I'm I'm about 60-40 against the snub range, but there are a couple of real good ones. And I like the Nuttyella for a dessert treat. It goes really, really nicely with this coffee. I mean, the two aromas blend up in the nose just beautifully. It's it's precious. Mmm, delicious. All right, more channel news. Like I said, I'm trying to get together with Chris to do that interview. I apologize for the delay, but I have been sick, and he has been busy uh, moving. He's now living in Chicago for the foreseeable future, and uh, so he's been busy, and it's been tough to get things together, but we will. And I really want you to hear this interview because Chris is a smart man with a lot of life experience, a unique view on spirituality, connecting with the universe, and in fact, resting in the present moment. Uh, he's, he's a great guy to talk to. Uh, when we talked before and I screwed up the taping of the interview, it was a good interview. So I'm hoping for even better when Chris and I get together. And other big news is, yep, I did it. I bit the bullet and finally bought some snuff. I went to tokesnuff.com and tried to fill up my shopping cart, which I did with great success. But when it came time to check out, discovered that their checkout form is not really blind accessible. It doesn't play nice with screen reader software. But God bless him. Roderick, the head honcho and big cheese, or should I say big cheese and bacon at tokesnuff.com, uh, graciously offered to help me enter the order manually from his side. So I've got a bunch of great Toke Artisan Snuffs coming, uh, and I'm very excited about that. Also, finally, I will try Old Fashioned by Old Factory Snuff. Um, We'll see. We'll see if it's any good. It appears that they're selling it at a discount, so it may not be very popular, but we'll find out. Uh, it's a low price snuff. I mean, uh, $2 and something, not even $3 for the 10 gram tin of it, of the old fashioned. So it's a good buy. We'll see if it's a good snuff. So that's coming up. As soon as that order arrives, there will be new nasal snuff reviews also. I'm in the process, I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm in the process of cleaning up the dank basement, sorting, straightening, and as much as I can, when I have a pair of eyes here, I just say, read this, you know, read this snuff to me. Because I still realize I have more of those uh, rapes imperios do Brasil, that's coming up. Uh, and I need to do that because they are marvelous snuffs, even though we cannot get them in the United States. So that's what's coming up on the Uncle Squinty Paul Shelbitter YouTube channel. I appreciate your patience and the views. I realize I'm not getting any new subscriptions. Maybe it's because I'm not giving away free shit. I'm pretty much stuck at uh, needing 80 subscribers to make that 3,000 mark, but I've been there for almost two years. So no new subscribers. The channel is kind of, eh, it's semi-dormant. But I appreciate the loyalty if you keep coming back here to check out these vlogs and learn more about nasal snuff. I think that's just great. I'd like to send a shout out. I've got a few shout outs I need to send out today. Thank you very much to Christopher who has been making 
some very good comments to my videos. Christopher, thank you very much. Also like to say another hello to Zach the Maniac. Zach the Maniac is one of currently one of my most loyal subscribers and is always writing me good emails and posting great comments and I, I really appreciate it. It's good to see Joel Gandia back. Hi Joel. You changed your name. I didn't know where you'd gone. Joel is a pipe smoker and also now recently returning to being a nasal snuff enthusiast. So Joel, welcome back to the fold. Again, I got to talk to my buddies up there in uh, um, Templance or Temperance or whatever it's called, Michigan. Uh, the, my new pipe smoking pals, they've been very nice and patient uh, with my silly emails. So I appreciate that. So thank you guys. I want to spend a spe send a special shout out also to anyone who is joining us for the first time or as a new viewer. Lots of good information here. Please look at my completely unarranged, unclassified, unsorted backlog of almost 500 videos regarding pipe tobacco, nasal snuff, Swedish snus once in a while, hijinks, fun end games, bad, uh, bad jokes, stuff like that. Well, listen, I'm going to go drink some more hot coffee here. Go blow my nose again. Uh, still got the cold. <laughs> but doing better. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up button. It's good for my fragile ego. Thank you also for hitting that notification bell if you are subscribed. That way you can custom tailor your settings so you do get advised every time I upload new content. And finally, thank you for the comments. I'm doing better with responding to comments. I hope you've noticed. Uh, and I will continue to do so if you comment. I always love to see it. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful weekend, what's left of it. Go Vikings!